Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the perfect place for bridal beauty pros to build their books using Instagram. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back and thank you so much for the support of my channel. If you are someone who is dreaming of having your inbox flooded with messages and emails just like this from using Instagram, or maybe you're someone using Instagram for months and posting and hoping that you're gonna get inquiries but you're just hearing crickets, then this video is for you, so keep on watching. Today's video, I'm gonna be covering the three reasons why you might not be attracting your ideal bridal clients and what you can start doing instead. The first reason why you may not be seeing any inquiries from Instagram is because you may be posting too many service offerings. What do I mean by this? I mean, if you're someone who is posting about tanning, makeup, uh, hair color, haircut, fashion work, editorial, you do engagement shoots, you do boudoir shoots, it's very confusing for your client when she's on your page because it's overwhelming. So let me give you another example. Imagine if you're going to a buffet and you are overload it with all these options of what to eat. There's seafood, there's Chinese, there's fried chicken, there's steak, there's all these different options. And if you go there and you maybe don't have something in mind, but you're like, I'm just hungry, I wanna eat, you may be overwhelmed by all these different options and you may opt out and just be like, uh, I'm okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I was actually really craving pizza, so I'm gonna go somewhere that specializes in pizza. This can often end up happening with your clients when they're hopping on your page. So to break it down even simpler, confused clients don't book. Simple is what books. So when you're super clear on those few service offerings that you have within your business, it becomes super clear for your client exactly how you can help them on their wedding day. Think of today's video, we're talking about booking bridal clients. So something you can start are doing instead is narrowing down what you're posting on Instagram to bridal only because remember we want to book bridal clients bridal bookings and weddings. Now some of you guys might be thinking well Marissa I offer color services in the salon or I do facials or you know maybe you do lash services or different things like that that's amazing but for the sake of today's video again we want to book you bride. So what I want you guys to remember is it takes about seven times for someone to see something seven times for something to pop up on someone's feed for them to want to take action on it and to actually reach out to you and inquire about your services. So you think of it in the way of if you're posting all of these different service options, right? And let's just say you're only posting bridal work on your Instagram about two times a week. So if you're only posting your bridal work on Instagram two times a week, that's only eight times a month that you're talking about your bridal services that you offer. So you may be getting inquiries for your bridal bookings, possibly only a couple times a month. Not what I want for you. I want you to be getting inquiries daily about your services. So the first thing you can do is just start talking more about your bridal services. Instead of only talking about your cert, your bridal makeup or your bridal hairstyling that you offer once a week and talking about all these other different services and posting things about that, narrow down your posts so that way you're posting more of your bridal hair, more of your makeup work, anything that is related to weddings. A lot of you guys ask me, how should I post all these different service offerings? Do I need to make a new Instagram account? And personally, if I was still offering color services in the salon and I was also a bridal hairstylist, what I would do is have two separate Instagram accounts. That's what I would do personally because I found when I'm trying to post and create content of all these different services that I offer, like cuts, color, um, bridal, all those different things, education, it gets confusing and overwhelming for myself as a creator because I'm like, uh, I don't know how this is gonna look on my feet and you wind up overthinking it in your head and you just don't have that free flow and you posting your work and putting it out there on Instagram, which is what I want for you guys. So personally, a way to make it easier for you and a way to make it easier for your clients to be able to distinguish, hey, this is what she can help me with or this is what he can help me with um, for my wedding. It takes that confusion out of what you actually offer your client if you had two separate Instagram accounts. Now, of course, you can absolutely mesh them and find a posting schedule that works for you, but if you were wanting to book more weddings, what you need to do is focus on posting about more weddings and your service offerings that you have for weddings specifically. Second reason that you may not be seeing any inquiries from Instagram is, I'm gonna say it right now, this may be a hard pill to swallow, you guys, but 
how many times a week are you posting? I want you to hop on over on your Instagram, pull up your insights just like this, and I want you to see how many times you posted that week, how many times you've been on stories that week, and just how much are you actually showing up. You can't expect results if you're only posting on Instagram like once a month, twice a week, consistency and frequency is the name of the game with Instagram, especially if you want to get your service offerings out there in front of brides. Instagram values three things within their algorithm. It's recency, consistency, and relationships. I've talked about this within other videos. So the number one thing you want to focus on is consistency. Now, whether that's posting three times a week for you right now, just build that habit and build that consistency. Imagine trying to build a friendship with someone that never texts you back, always flakes on your call, dates and you only really see like once every six months it's gonna be pretty hard to build trust consistency reliability loyalty all those different things that relationships need and friendships need in order to have a sustainable friendship and really have that trust factor it's the same with your Instagram you want to build that trust with new clients that are coming in as well as your audience who already follows you so a way that you can build that trust and really have a rock solid relationship with them is the number one thing of consistency. So again, whether that's you posting five times a week for you, if that's sustainable for you, or maybe that's only three times a week, showing up is the first step you can take in order to start really building that relationship with your client. Another thing is if you're not consistent, the Instagram algorithm doesn't know who to show your post to, so they just don't show it to anyone because they don't know exactly who's gonna benefit from this piece of content that you're putting out there. So when I used to only show up on Instagram stories like once a week, twice a week, and then I was only posting like twice a week. I think I even upped it to like three times a week. I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. So let's look at this data right here. When I started posting six times a week, I started posting daily on Instagram stories. Everything started to build traction and I started to build trust with my brides. So then my inquiries increased as well. So instead, create a habit of posting and create a schedule. If you're unsure about what to post, I highly suggest batching your content so that way you have an entire month's worth of content. And if you want me to walk you through exactly how I batch my content, check out this video right here and I'll link it in the description box below so that way you guys can see exactly how I batch my content and I can stretch one piece of content into about 14 different looks, 14 different posts that I'm able to use for Instagram. If you're someone who's saying, I do batch my content, I do have great content, but I'm still not seeing results, what is going on? This is our, what's happening is you're showing up, but you're only giving it about a few weeks. When you're only giving it about a few weeks, let's just say you're posting three times um, a week and you are you gave it about four weeks, that's 12 posts. I don't want you to give up after only doing 12 posts. It took me about an entire year to really start seeing engagement, the likes, those kind of vanity metrics that I wanted to see. However, I was seeing the inquiries even if I wasn't getting the likes on my post. So don't give up after only doing this for a few weeks. Push through and give it about 90 days. Next reason you're not attracting bridal clients on Instagram and what you should be doing instead is you might be going wide and not deep. The mistake that I see with bridal hair stylists and bridal makeup artists is that they think that that is niche down enough. That being on your Instagram bridal makeup artist is niche down enough. So what I want you to understand is that is actually your industry, which is super broad. What I want you to do is think about how you can go deeper into that and start being more niche, more specialized within your industry. For me, I'm a bridal hairstylist, so my industry is bridal hairstyling, but my niche and my specialty is buns and waves. So when I'm talking about bridal hairstyling, that is super broad, that is super broad. So I wanted to narrow it down even more for my ideal bride so that she's able to find me and knows how I can serve her. So what I did was I wanted to specialize in buns and waves. Thing you can do is go on your Instagram feed and scroll about three times. Do you see anything that is popping out at you that is kind of repeatable, that maybe is a signature look within your artistry? That's just one simple way that you can start really niching down and finding and honing in on your specific signature look.
So by now in this video, you should have learned the three reasons why you may not be seeing bridal inquiries coming through from Instagram. Posting too many service offerings, showing up consistently, so you might be only posting once a month or twice a week. Staying within the industry and you don't really have a signature style or specialty, so you're going broad and you're not going deep. If you got this far in the video, definitely leave me a thumbs up in the comment section below. If you're someone who's wondering the three shifts that I was able to make in order to start making six figures within my business, definitely hit the notification notification bell so you can stay tuned for next week's video where I, where I dive way deeper into that topic and I'm going to show you guys the shifts that you'll need in order to get to six figures in your business. You guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.